all right good morning good afternoon good evening or good night <laughs> wherever you are in the world depends on your location um i'm so sorry first of all that i've delayed this video though i've been very very busy because of other work i'm doing um but i think i said let me just quickly do the video so that i don't keep you waiting so pardon me for the delay okay so i'll quickly go to the video i posted to you people and then most of you are asking how to do the settings on your mt4 platform so this is the video i'm going to open it from the youtube from my youtube so this is it is open at my youtube and then um, let's see if i play the video the settings is right here when you watch the video the, the other chat the settings the one we are right using here. right now um Sorry. this is yes the settings is is here in the video so in, in case you haven't watched the video from the beginning to the end please kindly watch it so that you understand every instructions but instead of coming um here the this the settings are right here on the description page this very place you are going to click on this side you know so you will click here the description that's where the settings i dropped the settings there so let's click on it okay so you can see settings are here main chat so all that so you click on more so that we can open it better okay so i think so let me start from here now all right so i want you to pay close attention because i will show you how you are going to do this setting especially to the new um new um traders forex traders that want to set up their mt5 so we are using mt5 here okay so the first one says main chart look at it main chart the second one indicator window so uh, we are going to start from the main chart okay so let me go to my mt4 let me go to my mt4 okay this is my mt4 this is my mt4 okay this is my mt4 now this is you are going to tap on this f this f here to do the settings you tap on f so let's tap on it f okay you can see all the settings these are the settings I, I made already that i've been using that's why you can see all these lines all these things they are not usually here they are not usually here so i'm going to for the sake of you people i will delete it though i don't i don't like deleting my my indicators or my settings i don't like deleting it you know because it's going to take me um time to reframe it again okay it is a building i already built so but for the sake of those of you people watching this video i will delete it see that's why i want you to subscribe to this channel please it will help me because i'm not charging you any money for this if i will charge you you spend almost five hundred thousand there are learning all these things i mean what i'm saying so we're going to delete we'll, we'll delete it by clicking here you click so i'm going to delete everything everything so i'm going to select this one after the other select it but since it's everything i'm deleting there's no need selecting it i'm deleting everything there's no need so i will just come straight to this point and click it to select all of them so i selected all of them so i'm going to press delete here okay i've pressed delete so this is how the chart is originally this is how it is i actually zoom it to this level when you hold when you put the two of your finger or the two of your thumb on your screen and hold it when you hold it and close it you know hold your screen and close it it will get to this level i call this level zero when you hold your screen again and expand it you hold your screen and you know you drag you open it you see this is level one i call it if you do it again this is level two if you do it again this is level three you do it again this is level four 
then let's see okay this is the highest so this is how forex charts usually look like <laughs> i know some of you newbie will be surprised when you open your chart this is exactly what you will see this i have trade run trades running on so this is how chart usually look like okay so um you, let's zoom it to the list again so you hold use your top you hold your screen and, and push it in okay so this is level zero i call it some people call this level one but i call it level zero so i'm going to push it to my level one so this is my level one now okay this is my level one now you will listen to that video so that the video you will hear the level that i instructed um, traders to position their charts don't use level one listen to that video from the beginning to the end so that you will know the level the right level i think it should be level two or three or so listen to it again please don't use level one this level one is for my own strategy this strategy i'm using okay so let's go straight to the setting now i will open the setting from my youtube again these are the settings. The first one says main chart moving average 200, zero exponential close, three pixel black. I just assemble them this way, the way it is on the chart. So let's go to the chart. The first thing moving average 200. So let's come here. So you are going to tap on your F. You tap on it. So you can see everything is just raw, everything is plain there. Okay, so now we want to install the first thing, which is the main chart. Any indicator you want to install on your main chart, I will show you how to install it. You have to install that one first before you think of indicator window. So let's go to the main chart. And what we have there is moving average is 200. So this is moving average. Okay, if you check the whole of this list, you won't see moving average again. So it, it didn't repeat itself. It's just once. So this is moving average. So you are going to click on it. And from the parameters given to us, they say moving average 200. Let me not rush it. Let me go back again so that you see. You see, moving average is what? 200. That's what is there. Moving average 200. Then the next option there is zero. Next option there is exponential. The next option is close. Anyway, let's go. Let's go and finish up the moving average. This video is going to take a while, please. Because of, um, it's going to take time, okay? So, you, you need to bear it. Those of you that want to, that are newbie, just bear it, please. It will take time. So, this is the parameter. The 200 is going to be here. This is where you're going to put it. So, you tap on it. You, you tap on it and then delete that one and put your 200. That's all. Then now, the next one from from the instruction the next one is zero which is here is already zero then the next one is um exponential let's check it out again so we don't make mistake look at it 200 we have set it up zero is there then then exponential i told you after exponential we have close then we have three pixel then we have black color so it's in my memory so let's go there after exponent after 200 we have zero we have exponential so you click here and look at exponential you click it then we have after exponential we have close after close we have three pixel you see but the color from our instruction there the color is black so we are going to choose black you can actually choose any color you like okay as long as it will help you to recognize your 200 moving average so this is black I choose black based on the video then for level the, we were not given any level so leave this level so once you've done setting all this place you click on turn click on turn then you are going to see your moving average is here where is it It hasn't appeared. Oh, sorry. Okay, that means we have to start it again. Why? Moving average. It's 
So we are going to do it again. Let me just pause it. Sorry. So I've put the settings again. I put it again. So, um, so you are going to click on done done here. Okay, yeah. So you can see it. You can see the black line. This is it. Is is now showing? Okay, it's showing. So that's how to set the main chart. This is the main chart. Okay, so we are done with this part. All right. So we'll go and we'll go to the next one. The next one says indicator window. So we are going to put all these things at the indicator window. The whole of this. Okay, indicator window. So the first one is for stochastic oscillator. 20, 8, 10, close, linear weight. So let's just get there. Let's, let's do it step by step. Stochastic oscillator. So you click the same F. You click the same F here. I believe you know where F is now. So I don't need to be going there, please. Now, as you click on that place, what do you notice? You notice main chart is already having something here. Moving average is already here on its own. So you are going to click on this place. Okay, you click here. So let's click on it. Now when you click on it, you see it has opened the option. So and the first one they asked us to get the one is stochastic oscillator. This one. So you are going to click on stochastic oscillator. So this is where they ask us to fill all those things. So we're going to fill the parameters and other things here. Okay. So most times um, I usually click done first before filling it so that um, because of my phone, maybe it, it, it might not happen to your phone. But remember the first one we did after putting it, we went to the chat, we didn't see our 200 EME. So most times as I opened this, I will just click on done. So let's click on done first so that you see the reflection. Okay, look at it. This is the reflection of the window. Um, indicator so let's go back and do the settings so you click on the F again and then look at it when um, indicator window one so you click here for the settings okay so here we go so I'm going to be a little fast now all these settings are already here they are manually set but you are going to do your own setting this is the default setting you do your own setting so let's go to the video again the video says what um, stochastic oscillator then we have 28 10 close 28 10 close here yeah. 20 the second one 8 the third one 10 then the um, the price field close I hope you're following okay so let's go back again to our YouTube to, to continue the stochastic 28 10 close they have linear weights they will have four pixel blue color four pixel black color i'm just rushing it so which we are going to continue from here linear weight then here we have four pixel um i think it's blue color we saw there so you can choose any of the blue the one that will help you to recognize you can choose any one so let me choose this one blue color then um, four pixel again red color so let me choose let me choose this red okay we're not giving we're giving levels so let's check the levels so let's go back again to the YouTube um, okay sorry the four the the four pixel blue color four pixel brown color so we're gonna adjust this brown color sorry before we continue it's not red it's brown though you can use any color then you can use any color so let me use this one this brown okay it's there so let's go and check the settings for the level now the levels are 85 50 15 4 85 50 15 4 so you click here just click right in this box and you're going to set all these things you set it so before you set it because we have only three here 
you need to add one more so you press here you can see it has been added then you are going to edit it by clicking in the box you have 85 the next one 50 the next one 15 and then the next one uh, is it four or five? Is it four? Let me quickly check. Next one is what? Four. Okay, next one is four. Then, um, okay, no, four pixel orange. We have three levels. Sorry, three level and four pixel orange color. Sorry. So we are going to delete. This is delete. We delete one. We don't need four. Let's delete this one. Delete it. Okay, so we have 85, 50, 15. Then this is a 4 pixel. And remember, orange color. So click on 4 pixel. Then you click here to get out your orange color. So we're going to use this color orange. Click on it. Okay, so that's that. Once you're done, you click on back here. Click on back. And then you finally click on done. So you can see. It has been set automatically you see so this is it so let's quickly let's quickly go and check the other setting the remaining one number two number two one says moving average the moving average we have 30 zero linear weight weighted close four pieces of red so let's go to number two now to set it up on the same indicator window because at times we do have window one, window two, window three, but this is just one window. So moving average, 30 zero linear weight. Let's quickly get there. This is a move. This is a, you go back, you go to your F. You go to your F. Under the same window. Under the same window. So you press here. You press here, not here. You press here because you want to put it right in this window. So you press your F. You go to moving average, it's moving average, and then the setting says the setting says 30 zero linear weight and the weighted close. It's a 30. Sorry, sorry, it's a 30. We're going to put our 30. 30. This one is already okay. Zero. This one says linear weight, and this one says close. Four. This is close for weighted close for. That's the settings. Let's check to continue again. Then um, four pixel red. So this is four pixel. We are going to choose here. Then you tap on that black to change it to red. So let's change it to this red color. When you are done, you you press on done. Then, uh, okay, it's not reflecting there. Oh. Let me go back again. See, I told you that once. Let me tell you what to do. If in case it appears that way, just do it the way I usually do it. Press your plus here. Go to your moving average. You tap it. Then press done first. Let it reflect. Look at it. This is a black. Let it reflect. Then you go back again. You press your F. Then you press your moving average here, so that you adjust it. Okay, just do it like that. So thirty. Zero, zero is there. Linear weight. This one is weighted close four. Then this one is four pixel, and they ask us to use red color. This red color. You can choose any one that will help you to identify. Then you click on done. So you can see it's there. It's already there. You can see that. So let's quickly go. Let's quickly go to do the final one. Uh, what's the final one? The final one is also moving average. Look at the moving average. 20 zero linear weight. Weighted 4. 4 pz green. Okay. So let's go and set it up. 20 zero linear weight. You go to your F. You press here. Because you want it to be at this window. Not main chart. This window. You press your F. Moving average again. Remember, I said once you press the moving average, just tap done, just press done, done first so that it will appear there. Then you go back. Sorry, it didn't appear because it's the same setting. Moving average, 
Let's just get this way. Press done. And um, you can see it's there. So let's go and set it real now. So we, we have 20, 20, we have 0, we have linear weighted, we have weighted close 4, then 4 pz, then here is going to be green. Okay, so look at green all over here. So we're going to choose this one. Then you press done. So you can see it has appeared there. Okay, it has appeared. So you can, can sorry, so it has appeared there. So it's very simple. It's just for you to um, set it. This is the way we have set it. And everything is in This is the 200 EME. And all these things have functions. So please, you watch that video. And then you can you can change the size of, of this. The size you want it to consume at your chart. You can change it. Just hold down. Press on your screen down. These things will appear. It's adjustable. Then you hold on. You hold on this button and move it up and down to the size you want. Let me show you. I'm holding on it now. I'm holding on it now. So up, down, depending on the size you want, that is okay for you, okay? And I think in that video, I said we should now push it to the end like this. And this is where you should start. You should check for that particular signal and then trade. I even, I'm even, I'm, I'm, I'm holding, I'm, it, I'm, in a trade you can see i've been in, i've been in this trade for like three days or so or four days i've been on this trade for four yes on the 23rd so you can see i'm seriously on on profit here about 104 dollar you know this trade so anyway that's not that that that's not what i i want to show you in the video so watch the other video so that you will know how to use this strategy i believe i've been able to show you how to do the settings thank you very very much for watching this video please do me a favor just go to our youtube channel go to our youtube channel please we have a lot of videos there this is just one of the video we are um, training with we have a lot of videos please i want you to subscribe in case you don't know how to subscribe let me show you let me just show you Okay, let me go to someone's channel. Let me go to someone's channel. Okay, this is somebody's channel. What's the one thing that? Let me just go. Every business needs. Let well, me tell so that you. I will show you how to do. I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay. Right, I'm going to pause it now. This is subscribe. This is subscribe. What I want you to do is please press on this subscription. That's number one. You 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 press on it. You can see after pressing on it. This bell is going to show. You click on the bell and click on all so that whatever video I, I upload, YouTube will notify you. They will give you a notification. Then when you are done, you press on like. Please. This is the only thing I ask you to do. Please. Thank you so much for watching this video. I remain profitable. If you have any question, I want you to comment on the comment box or you chat me up on WhatsApp. Thank you. No, thank you.